This is the moment we've been waiting for. OpenAI has just dropped a bombshell. Plus members can now access web browsing and plugins, a game changer that will make you question everything you know about GPT-4. Buckle up, because this ride is going to be wild. By far, the largest drawback of OpenAI's ChatGPT has been its inability to access the internet. Well, until now. The rules of the game have changed. GPT-4 is no longer an isolated genius living in the past, but a web-surfing whiz that's got its finger on the pulse of the present. Now, if you are a Plus member, you can unlock the groundbreaking feature that makes your subscription so much more worth it. With Google's release of new BART, OpenAI has to raise the bar, and they have for sure delivered. To access it, just go to ChatGPT's website at the left bottom corner, select settings, and then in beta features, you can toggle on the web browsing. There's also a plugin that's recently available. In this video, we will focus on the web browsing. And on top here, you can choose the browsing in beta. Now, you are all set to experience the power of GPT-4's web browsing. Let's dive into some mind-blowing use cases. First, let's say you are curious about Modular Mojo, that hot new programming language that's causing waves in the tech world. With the power of web browsing, GPT-4 can now pull up the latest info and give you a detailed rundown of Mojo's cutting-edge features. You can prompt it by providing the link to the documentation like this. What is Modular Mojo and what is the difference between it and Python? Answer by browsing. Link to the documentation page. I will send this and we can see what it does. As we can see, it started to browse the web and we can also see it's clicked on a link. And if we open up this drop-down menu, we should be able to see the steps it's taking. So we can see it's reading the content and clicking on another link. Okay, as we can see, the process has just finished and it's going to write down what it, what it is and going to tell you what's the difference between this and Python. It successfully browsed the web and give you the description of modular module, which is what we are asking for. As you can see, it also gives you the hyperlinks, so you can go into the link and read more about these information. It also gives you specific differences, so it's not just general, and it's a pretty thorough answer. This is truly game-changing. It's like having your very own tech reporter in your pocket. Second, let's say you're a video creator looking for the latest AI content creation tools. You can use this prompt. Here is a cool prompting trick. You can use a system message and a user message. I am planning on making a video about prompt engineering, so stay tuned for that. Over here for the system message, I'm saying you're an AI content creation researcher and a good writer. You always discover new tools for AI-related contents. And for the user message, I input, please follow the following tasks step by step. First, search for the latest and bestest AI content creation tools for video creators. Two, write a structured YouTube video script introducing the tools searched. Let's see what it does. As you can see, it started to browse the web again. Okay, as we can see, it went ahead and searched three of the AI tools, and it also gives you the, the price of each tool and what it does. It also gives you the links, so you can go ahead and try to open them, see where it got the information from. And yes, it started to write a script with intro, body, and conclusion. Of course, you can go ahead and keep playing with this, but this is already really powerful with some simple prompts. Mind-blowing, right? But wait, there's more. The real power of this feature comes alive when you tailor it to your needs. Let's say you want to connect with top minds in your field. In my case, I would like to connect to the CEOs of the world's best robotic companies on LinkedIn. Here's my prompt. For the system message, I'm saying you are an amazing researcher and a networking genius. Your task is to help the user with drafting networking messages. For the user, you can say, I need you to execute the following tasks step by step. First, find the CEOs of the world's best robotics companies. Two, list their name and company name. Three, draft a message to them on LinkedIn to connect. Let's see what it does. Okay, great. It has finished browsing. It listed eight of the world's best robotics companies and their CEO name. Then it took the information and went on to write a LinkedIn message that can be used. This really shows off the power of this feature. I cannot wait to experiment more with this. As you can see, I just showed you three use case examples, and I will make the prompts I used available for you in the video description. You can do whatever you want with this, but don't forget to let me know what are the use cases you find. 
subscribe and smash that like button so you don't miss the follow-up video where I dive deeper into new features and more guides on prompt engineering. Remember, in the world of tech, it's adapt or be left behind. So stay curious and excited. Most importantly, stay ahead of the curve. Until next time, keep pushing the boundaries.